my sorting hat so I could wear it maybe. <laughs> University of Nebraska-Lincoln chemistry professor Rebecca Lai creates magic in the classroom with her Harry Potter themed courses. Basically I decoded the ingredients in the potions mentioned in the books and the chemistry behind those ingredients and the students were sorted into four houses and throughout the whole semester they had to answer questions to gain house point so as to eventually win the house cup. So the first time I taught it, um, Hufflepuff actually won. <laughs> when she isn't creating magic in the classroom, Professor Lai is in the lab, creating paper biosensors that could be used to diagnose disease or detect contaminants in drinking water. We could sense lead, cadmium, and uranium at the same time by using these paper-based disposable electrostrips. Basically, we would like to know, well, whether there's lead or cadmium in this, you know, drinking water. And we would like to know, you know, whether there are certain, you know, bio biomarkers that are in one's blood. Lai grew up in Hong Kong and went to high school in California. So what about these three? She was always curious and loved learning new things. I remember I used to go to the library when I was young. I would just pick up an encyclopedia and I would just read from A to Z. I've always liked arts when I was younger. I only started to like science a bit more during high school. But then I you know, took general chemistry, realizing that I like chemistry, and I was reasonably good at it. Prior to that, I was planning to go into fashion design. Mixing chemistry with Harry Potter makes Lai's classes spellbinding. Good scientists are creative. Good artists are also creative. And J.K. Rowling's a pretty good scientist, actually. <laughs> I'm very impressed by her, and uh, I think she would make a wonderful chemist. I should ask her that <laughs> if I get a chance to meet her. So.